Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, you guys, we have part two of the Facebook group members share their best November Bolo. So in this video, I am gonna share with you Bolo items that members of my Facebook group shared. So I create a post, I put it under the announcements and the members share their Bolos. I'm gonna tell you where they got it, what they paid for it and what it sold for. This is gonna help us learn how to source better because you guys, some of these are so unexpected and some of these are huge money. Some of them are bread and butter. They range, but you will definitely learn. I've got about 30, 35 coming your way. Um, I just did part one. So definitely if you're watching this video and didn't see part one, go look for that. My name's Courtney, also known as Bolo Buddies. I like to share and teach about Bolo items because I'm a reseller. Um, I've been reselling since 2005 and I would encourage you guys to subscribe and like and comment and share um, as we go through the video. All right, you guys, thanks again for being here and let's get started. So I am gonna be looking at my computer. I'm gonna be reading off what the Facebook member shared, the information, and then I'm gonna pop up screen shares of what the item sold for. So um, you're gonna get a visual and you're gonna hear what the actual person said about the item, which I think is fun. All right, so the first one comes from Noelle and her YouTube channel is Noelle Farm Girl Scavenger. And the reason I'm shouting out her YouTube channel is because she is a Bolo Buddies member. Um, if you're a Bolo Buddies member, you get a shout out in this video also. If you'd like to join memberships, there is a join button down by the subscribe button. And if you don't see that, you can find a link down in the description. Sometimes it doesn't show up on your phone. All right, you guys. So Noelle, Farm Girl Scavenger, is a huge, big money bolo finder. She has so much knowledge up in her head, and she will teach you so much on her channel. So definitely go check her out. But let's look at this bolo. Purchased a whole room at an auction on the last day of an estate sale for $30. She said she probably had 25 cents in this. Um, this took less than a week to sell and is a major bolo. It is a Fenton Birth of, Sa Birth of a Savior, the announcement 1999 limited edition fairy lamp. You guys, big money. She sold this for $210 plus shipping. The next item, it says, I found this at my local honey hole about $10 in with additional items I just listed, all sold to the same buyer with 24 hours of posting. This is an East Coast convenience store. Okay. So found at my local honey hole, about $10 in. So this is just some of the items, but she had additional items also. It's There's several pictures you guys see here. There's a bunch of hats. It looks like one sold for $29.99, one sold for $46.99, and the lot of four sold for $69.99. Um, these are all snapback vintage hats um, with different branding and logos on them. So... I think I have the right thread this time, she said. My best November sale is a pair of infant toddler vintage Nike sneakers. So my bolo is baby shoes. Never pass these up. Do your comps. I think the person that bought these was a sneakerhead when I looked into his profile. I already shared these, but not on a bolo buddy's post yet. Purchased 50 cents, received a best offer of 200 within a couple hours, and I wasn't going to be greedy, so I accepted it. Very cute pair of baby girl Nike shoes. You guys, look at these. Crazy, right? Would you have ever guessed? Um, her um, eBay store is Dare to Dream Big, I think, 1313. She is also a Bolo Buddies member, and I'll pop up her store right here. The next comes from, oh no, Reselling with Honey. <gasps> Got it. This is her YouTube channel. She is also a Bolo Buddies member. Lots of new members. I'm trying to remember like the order everything goes in. Um, I knew it was honey and then I'm like, is it, you know, anyway, it's, it's hard when you keep adding new people and I didn't take any notes. Um, so this is her YouTube channel. She's fantastic. Go check her out. She has a newer channel, but I have been really enjoying her content. So it says, I paid $4 each for these at an estate sale. I was going to list them individually, but then noticed there was some discoloration. So I decided to lot them up and put them on an auction and let the market decide. I really like what the market decided. Took a week to sell, maybe 10 days. I can't remember how long the auction was. So these are simply shabby chic blue British rose embroidered Swiss dots, new in package with flaws, sold for $141 plus shipping. 
These were at an antique mall space who is moving. So her stuff was marked down 60%. They were originally 18, but I only paid 720. Didn't sell on auction with a $50 start. Relisted with a buy it now for 75 and sold in a week. Um, Jack, Jacar's, I think Jacar's is how you pronounce it. I could be wrong. Um, Pepin chicken plates. <laughs> They're chicken plates. Oh my goodness. Sold for 75 bucks. So I'm going to tell you that I do what this reseller does. I will start my auction at the minimum that I want to get for the item. And if it doesn't sell, I will relist it at a buy it now or best offer at a higher price. So it works. So I'm happy to see that somebody else did it and it worked. Bought a box of fabric at a yard sale for $10. Have sold a bunch of craft dolls and material. So nine yards of Daisy K Kingdom Raggedy Ann and Andy mm, fabric. <laughs> $100, you guys, right there. Boom. Plus shipping. Um, Daisy Kingdom can definitely be a Bolo brand to be on the lookout for. And it looks like uh, this is vintage Valentine's Bears uh, 90. Um, I don't know, quilt something. I'm, I'll pop it up. It, it only sold for $27 plus shipping, but this was all, it looks like, bought as a, a lot of fabric. So they're just showing some of the other things that they sold from the lot. And this says Grandma's Gingerbread. And it's a small photo, so I can't really tell if it's like a piece of fabric or what it is, but it sold for $16.95. All right. Williams Sonoma Harvest Market Glasses, Goodwill for 10 bucks, sold at full asking price for $215 on Poshmark. So if you guys don't know, you can sell hard goods on Poshmark. Um, I have a whole bunch of videos where I show you hard goods that I sold on Poshmark. So definitely go check those out. Um, Poshmark's a great platform. What I do is I start my items on eBay. I cross post them to Mercari and Poshmark. I use List Perfectly. It's an extension that helps you cross post to get your items over in bulk from eBay to those platforms quick, or you can list into the catalog. I don't do that. I just do it my way. If you want to see my way, there's a demo down in the description of the video. You can check that out. Um, it's a great way to get all your items from eBay on those other platforms fast. Um, if you check out the video and you like what you see, you can get 30% off your first month with coupon referral code BOLOBUDDIES, all one word. Um, highly recommend it. I've been using it since I think 2019, like two years. I love it. Never quitting it. I love it. Um, okay, the next one is a Vin Viking pulled bubble swing vase. Bought at the Goodwill for seven bucks. Sold on eBay for a best offer of 110. It is a Viking swung glass classic pulled bubble vase uh persimmon i don't know what persimmon means but persimmon is that a color or is that a style i don't know 110 dollars. i should figure it out okay antique victorian victorian sewing clamp bought at the goodwill for two dollars uh best offer of 97.50 on ebay so it is an antique victorian brass sewing clamp cast iron bird sewing clamp mid 1800s that's what it looks like um, somebody put, ha ha, I was watching this. Been looking for some for my personal collection. Can't believe it was at the Goodwill. That's awesome. Okay, let's see. PlayStation 2 game, but there's no, oh, here it is. PlayStation 2 game bought in a pile that totaled $10. So maybe a dollar in. Sold for full asking in 10 minutes, you guys, for $230. Yes. Um, it is, um, it's sideways. Hold on a second. Tales of Destiny. Tales of Destiny. It looks like this. I'll flip it so it's not upside down for you guys. Or sideways. <laughs> Tales of Destiny. It's a PlayStation game. Crazy. Uh, paid $2 for these at a Wisconsin estate sale. Had broken pieces and the movements didn't work. Wound too tight, I think. Sold on eBay for a seven-day auction for $87. International buyer, and they paid shipping. So, you guys, these are broken music boxes that sold for $87. How awesome is that? And here's a picture. Okay. Um, one Goodwill, wait, Goodwill Bins in Georgia paid $1.68. And sold for $170, you guys. So these are, um, I'm trying to figure out what platform this sold on. Is it Poshmark, maybe? 
and they are called Z coil shoes. This is what they look like. So they, they're like, I don't know if they're like exercise shoes or what, but I, I know that those shoes that have the weird bottoms, you're supposed to like pick those up because they're a bolo, but I haven't found any yet. Have you? This hat, military mold, got at an auction for $2.50 and just to photograph hats. Got it at an auction for $2.50 just to photograph hats. Okay. Looked it up and they're worth very good money. Sold in under a month for a best offer of $40. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. It's a hat mold. So they bought it because they wanted to use it for the reselling business to photograph hats. I got it. Sorry. I was not following. Yeah, that's really cool. Um, they sold it for 40 bucks. That's awesome. Purchased at a church sale for $5. Took about eight months to sell. It is a Mario Teaches Typing uh, PC Windows game. It is sealed and it is vintage and it is Nintendo and it sold for $219.99. Found at, the go, at my go-to thrift store. I don't do shoes as a general rule, but these were laying in the housewares and caught my eye. Pay, oh my goodness, you guys. <gasps> wow. Paid $15. Thank goodness they were half size too small for me because the pictures don't do them justice. Mock and mock double bow crystal embellished satin pumps. Are you guys ready for this? $825. Are you kidding me? 15 bucks and 825 that is absolutely crazy. I've never even heard of that brand. Mac, M-A-C-H, and Mac, M-A-C-H. Anybody heard of it? Let me know in the comments. Crazy. Okay, the next one comes from The Rebel Reseller. She is a bolo finder. She specializes in plush. So if you guys are wanting to get into plush, check out her YouTube channel, The Rebel Reseller. She is also a Bolo Buddies member. Um, she said, we just started selling clothes this year, and this is my best sale so far. I paid $5 at an estate sale, and it sold for $145.31. It is this Michael Simon Event Nativity Sweater, women's size small. So it's an embellished nativity scene sweater, and it's beautiful. And that is definitely a bolo. I bought a big box full of vintage toys on Facebook Marketplace for $105. Um, CAD, mostly vintage Transformers, Beast Wars, Gundam, Gundam, G-U-N-D-A-M, Wing, I've never heard of that, Digimon figures, G.I. Joes for me to keep, and a bunch of 90s figure, figures. So pretty much I paid not even a dollar a piece. I have this for $99.99 CAD, and someone offered me 80 CAD. And I don't, I didn't even counter offer, just hit accept right away. By the way, it's incomplete, missing weapon, and part to connect to the tusk. So I'm going to have to scroll in and see if I can read this. Hasbro Transformers Beast Wars Combine, Combiner Magnaboss Ironhide Prowl Silver Bolt. Um, I'm going to crop this in to make it bigger on the screen for you guys because I can barely read it from here. So definitely a cool bolo. The next one says I paid $5 and sold for $1,600. Hmm. Um, that's not a bolo. Uh, first ever video game, Microsoft IBM Adventure PC Computer. And then the other one says TRS-80 video game, Microsoft IBM Adventure PC Zork. So these apparently are two very rare vintage um, PC games. Uh, I don't know if they're sealed or not. Um, it doesn't say, but... Each one sold for $800. How amazing is that? This is what it looks like. Bought at a Mile High thrift store in Colorado for $1.99. Picked it up just because I'm a sucker for dead stock vintage. Sold for full asking price on Mercari in two days. And it sold for $139, you guys. Never used new old stock vintage Fisher Price 1979 lovey pink plaid bunny unused security blanket. So it has a bunny head and a little blanket attached to it. These are not very big. They are oftentimes called lovey, loveys. People will pay up for these, especially if they have a child that has lost theirs and they need to replace it. 
and this one's vintage so this could be like a nostalgia type thing where somebody had it when they were a kid and they're trying to maybe they want to give it to their kid or they just want it because they had it when they're a kid i have no idea but these things go for big bucks so definitely be on the lookout for the security blankets with the little plush heads um let's see paid maybe a dollar at the max for this at the goodwill outlet made a full price sell and three days so they sold it in three days for it's a vintage afghan turkish traditional vest sold it for 44 dollars plus shipping on mercari all right this one came from bolo buddies member it's dare to dream big 1313 i just wanted to make sure i was saying it right but i will pop it up um, it is a uranium glass, uh, Vaseline Bright Glow. And I think um, it was either in this video or the video before. I already shared one of hers, but I will pop her store up again because she has fantastic stuff. She got this uranium glass, paid a dollar for it. She said, bring your black light sourcing with you. It glows, pick it up. Um, so this is a lady flower frog and it sold for $126, you guys interesting sale part of a sourcing trip so it averaged out to be four dollars for the belt at desert industries i i don't know if that's a thrift store or what took a best offer of 145 dollars and the buyer paid for shipping it's a climber's belt for elect electrical linemen buckingham climber's belt is what it says and it sold for 145 dollars so definitely a cool bolo Paid $7 at the Goodwill. It is a brand new, new old stock, Longitech Harmony Touch Universal Remote. $169.99, you guys. Amazing. And that was at the Goodwill, so there is hope. Don Friedman Tapestry Rare. Paid $4 about two years ago at the Salvation Army. Um, had sold once before for full asking, asking price. Buyer graciously returned. Took offer for 177 still a great profit. So it is a Don Friedman wall mac macrame tapestry. Is it tapestry or tapestry? It's tapestry, right? I hope I'm saying that right. $170 bolo right there. Bam. Uh, no strings, no bridge, no knobs, and missing a piece on the neck was chipped. Paid $3, sold in under 12 hours. It is a beautiful antique violin for decoration great accent or conversation piece full size sixty dollars you guys pretty cool i got a box a five dollar box at a yard sale and sold it to several different buyers i actually still have a few pieces left so it looks like it is anchor hawking fire king wear white milk glass tea coffee cup so it looks like okay they sold 20 of them for 40. that would be hmm. and then the other says they sold 63 of them for 126 so maybe they're really confusing me here so maybe they had best offer turned on but either way they sold 63 cups for 126 dollars i'm t i'm sorry but there is no way i would want to si ship 63 a peak but um, paid a dollar for the needlepoint kit at a thrift store. Sold for full asking price in about a month. I bought 10 similar kits, a dollar each at the same time, and have sold three so far. This was the highest priced. So this is a vintage 1982 Dimensions Wool Needlepoint Kit. And it says Wasaki Harbor Town. It's sealed. And it sold for $82.99. You guys, cross-stitch kits are fantastic. They range from bread and butter to big money. I always pick them up if I can get them for a dollar or less because I know I'm at least going to make bread and butter on them. And some of them will surprise you. I paid $25 at a garage sale. This was this with the three puppies and Thomas O'Malley. The five for $25. The puppies sold for $85. Still have the O'Malley. Duchess sold in less than a week. Oh my goodness, you guys. $235 for that plush. So Aristocats, Duchess Mama Cat, White Plush, Disney Store, Rare and Retired. $235, you guys, for that plush. That's amazing. Okay, this one comes from Be Carried Away, who is a moderator of this group. So please go show her YouTube channel some love with a sub. It is Be Carried Away. She is fantastic. She is a bolo finder. 
and she is also a Bolo Buddies member, so check her out. She paid $1.99 at the Salvation Army on the advice of Courtney, me, Bolo Buddies, to be on the lookout for anatromic, anatronic, I can't even say it, animatronic plush. Um, I always say animated, but um, I think this one's mouth-like moves. Sold it for $49.99 in just a couple months. She said, thanks, Bolo Buddies. Thanks, Carrie, for the shout out. I appreciate you. Um, so it is a vintage Christmas animated pink sassy cat plush doll toy. Light up eyes and it sings Santa Baby. And she did include a video. So if you guys want to see how that works, you can go to the November post and scroll down and find it. And she posted a video. It's eyes like light up. All right. The next one is... Paid $1.50 at a CCA thrift store in Texas. Sold for full asking price of $148 in 48 hours. It is a vintage applause Warner Brothers Tasmanian Devil mug. It's Christmas Vacation 1989 and it is ceramic. Bolo. A Bolo mug right there. Bought at an employee sale at Dance Company I worked at. Paid maybe $6.99 and never wore it. It is an Alvin Ali, Ali American Dance Theater sweatshirt, size extra large, $19.95. And it sold for $79.99 plus shipping. All right, you guys, that was the last one. Thank you all so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. If you'd like to join memberships, you're more than welcome to do that. There is a join button and there's also a link in the description. If not, no worries. My channel will remain free. This is just for additional perks. Um, let me know if you have any questions and in the comments, let's go with a hat emoji, any type of hat. Um, thank you for being here. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. I may have already said that. And thanks for watching.